Hello. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to upload and update documents in RAMS IRB. This can be a somewhat complicated process and so I felt it deserved its own video. So first navigate to a page of the smart form that has a document upload on it such as the documents page. To add a new document click add. From here enter the name of the document select a type for the document from these options, then select choose file and open the file using the dialog from your computer. Click OK and add another if you'd like to add another document immediately or just click OK. When you click OK you'll see that the new document has been uploaded and you'll see the version number under the version column. Now let's say you need to update a document because you needed to make revisions to your consent form during a review process. In order to do that, click the update button to the left of the document you wish to update. From there, select choose file. Then you will select the new version of the document you wish to upload. Click OK. And you'll see that the version column now lists 0.02, indicating that there is more than one version of this individual document. You can continue to do this with new versions of the document as the review progresses. Now, how do you download or access previous versions of a document? Same way, you'll click Update next to the document. Then you'll go to where the document name is, the file name. Click these three dots and you can click download copy and then interact with the dialog on your computer to download it. And that will download the most recent version of the document. To view the history of the document, click those three dots again and then click view history. This will then show you each version of the document in reverse chronological order. To download any one of these versions, just click on the file name and then use the dialog on your computer to download the document. Click OK and then cancel or this X button to close. This process of uploading new versions of documents on top of old versions of documents is also referred to as stacking by IRB staff. And this is because when you look at the version, the history of the document, you can see that each document is stacked on top of the previous versions of the document. So if your reviewer asks you to stack a document on top of an existing document, that is what they mean. Now, if you need to delete a document, simply hover over the document and then click the X on the far right that appears. A dialog will open asking you if you are sure you want to delete the selected items. It is very important that you not delete any documents unless you are explicitly ex instructed to do so by your reviewer. We need to have the history of the document present in the IRB application, even if the document ends up being retired or no longer used. So only delete documents if, they're, if you are explicitly told to do so by your reviewer, or if it's an initial study and you're still working on the initial submission. Now, there is no way to delete an individual version of a document. So when you go into the history, there's no option to delete an individual version in the stack of documents. So when you delete a document, you are deleting all versions of the document, which is why it's so important to not use that delete option unless you are explicitly told to do so. The last thing I wanted to show you is back out in the main study workspace. There is a tab where you can view all of the documents at the same time. Hit the documents tab and all the documents will be loaded. From here, you cannot edit documents, but you can view them. So if you click view to the left of the document, it'll show you the document name, the type, and then the file name. Again, if you click the file name, the most recent version of the document will be downloaded. 
And again, if you click View and then click on the three dots to the right of the file name, you can either download the most recent version or view the history of the document. Again, seeing all the documents stacked on top of each other there.